Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day 2. This is Tyler Fuquay, and we're just gonna have some coffee here, and we're gonna update you on Not Forgotten. Please forgive the camera setup. I'm just kind of making it up as I go here. But every year on Smarter Every Day, um, I work with an organization called Not Forgotten, which Tyler is the president of. And basically, it's holistic child development slash orphanage slash how would you explain it yeah I, I definitely a holistic approach to orphan care in peru yeah and and you have the big deal is instead of like having a big home with like 20 or 30 kids in it you have actual families and houses and stuff like that right That's right we really want to be family centered and family focused so all our kids live with a peruvian family a mother and a father who who are, are their mom and dad I want to get an update. Usually we do this in December for the Project for Awesome, but the Project for Awesome is in February this year. So the question is, how did Not Forgotten, specifically Los Lomas and the other, what do we call the new facility in the city? So the new home is called Aporcar. I know it's kind of a hard word, but that was the name that, that Gene chose because it really means to, to, uh, to cultivate or to develop. And so we're taking the kids, when they're really young, they're in Las Lomas, and that's kind of a chance for them to regain their childhood. Mm -hmm. But when they move to Aporcar, it's really the start of developing them into adults. The whole idea is to break the cycle of abandonment. Right. And so by raising them to be... Uh, young men who will be the leaders of homes. Well, I, I don't know what the verb is. Aporcar. It's a it's a farming word. It kind of actually means to like kind of till up earth or to like put, you know, put good soil onto young seedlings so that they can grow up um, into fruitful young men. That's awesome. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, every year, the goal is to get people if they're interested to support Not Forgotten on Patreon. You can do that patreoncom slash forgotten. All that money goes to actually running the orphanage in Peru. This is something we've been partnered with on Smarter Every Day for years. After my wife went down, what was that, five, six years? No, oh, longer. That's probably like nine or eight or nine years ago. It's been a long time. Okay, <laughs> long time. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you're interested in partnering, it's easy. Patreon.com slash not forgotten. But, well, first of all, what happened when COVID hit? Yeah, so uh, when COVID hit, uh, Peru shut down. Um, they shut down, like, military lockdowns. So I could not go out of your house. Um, so it was pretty pretty hardcore for a while. For a while. All the schools went virtual. Um, so, which... In, in the jungle is kind of hard to do, but you had the option of either doing online, which was just not possible for anybody there. Um, you could watch school on TV, or you could do it on the radio. So, really? Yeah. So nobody's going to school. So nobody's going to school. So, <laughs> so what we did is we actually already had teachers on staff with us, um, but we actually hired two more. So we basically took school to the kids. We, we, so we actually had a full curriculum Every day. Legit, like you legit like did it. Legit had school. Um, so we every day they got dressed, wore their uniforms, had a schedule. They followed the, the curriculum that was given to them by the government. Luckily, they're going to be way ahead of the curve come this next school year, whenever that actually happens. So this isn't like, you're not just making it, you're excelling in a, in a really hard time. That's amazing. Okay, cool. Let's check out some videos, man. Yeah. All right, so what is this first video? So we have just had a grand opening celebration, and this is Tony's got the camera in here. We're about to do a ribbon cutting ceremony for the opening of the new home. Now, the cool thing about this is the kids um, that are about to walk in here have never seen inside this house. They've seen the outside. They've seen it you know, being um, renovated, but this is the, the new home in the new Apple car location. And so the outside... Um, the uh, there's some final words are being spoken and they're about to have a ribbon cutting ceremony and everybody's about to walk in to see the home for the first time. This thing looks amazing, dude. Yeah, we went uh, we went all out. We want them to have a nice home that they're proud of. Yeah, you know, this is you know it's it's hard to uh, to come from a, a situation where you don't have much and you have a lot of um, self esteem issues, you have a lot of just um, confidence issues, and we wanted to, wanted to give these children a, a home that they could be proud of, so they could bring their home, their friends. Too, to uh, to see where, where they live and, and they can be proud of that. So those are all their graduation pictures when they graduated from, from kind of primary school. It's kind of like elementary school uh, graduation for, uh -huh. for these kids. So you know, we want to celebrate their accomplishments, celebrate um, you know who they are, what they've done, as well as um, you know just make this a home where they see pictures of themselves, pictures of them with their families. All those things are just really important to make this not just the place that they live and sleep, but where they are at home. And the cool thing is, so much of that is led by the Peruvian staff. That's not led. I, mean, I, I didn't go down there and say, "Hey, put pictures up of, of the kids." We have a, a staff of amazing Peruvian you know, leaders, 
uh, and workers who who are making these decisions they 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 really get it because they're down there every day living it they see the need for this type of care um and they they pay close attention to those details that these kids really receive that this is amazing are the kids about to walk in yeah there they go So the coolest thing was they were, honestly, they, they loved the home. It was really cool to watch them um, find their pictures everywhere. They really loved like looking at all the pictures on the wall and you kind of see them here. They're all like pointing out themselves in the pictures and just seeing like, oh, there we are, there we are. And this, this is my family, this is my home. And this is, that was a really cool thing to watch. That's huge, dude. And so when did this happen? This was in January. So right before COVID hit, this was January, in January, um, 2020. Man. Okay. So how many people stay in this home? So uh, currently we have nine boys who stay in this home um, with uh, Isaac and Ruth who are the house parents there. So um, th all these boys are a little bit older. Um, they basically came uh, to us when they were around eight or nine, have been out for five years and oh. they, yeah. Oh, you weren't joking about that mariachi band. <laughs> no, we really had a mariachi band. <laughs> <laughs> I love mariachi bands. Cool thing about this, we it's really important for us to involve the local government. So you see these two ladies here, one's a social worker as well as one is the judge, kind of like the family court judge, who um, basically places kids in homes. And so we really wanted to invite the local government, local leadership into celebrate what we're doing here. We were able to celebrate not just the opening of this home, this is also a five-year celebration of Las Lomas, which would also celebrate its five-year anniversary at the same time as well. Golly. Dude, did you ever think? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you had told me 10 years ago, when, when, like, when Tara first came down, if you told me that we'd be doing this now, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And so this is support from all over that made this happen? All over. I mean, from, from all over the world. You know, everywhere from Australia, Israel, China, Ireland, England, um, I mean, the US, Canada, parts of Central and South America, I mean, basically all over the world we're getting support, which is awesome. It's just so cool to see people come together, to see the work we're doing, um, and to just appreciate the, our, our structure and our, um, our methods and, uh, and give resources to make it happen. That's because, incredible. Because doing this this way, it's not cheap. You know, it's, there's cheaper ways to provide care for children, but we really feel in order to provide quality care, to break that cycle, it takes a lot more than just the basics. Yeah, you're not just trying to feed bodies. You're trying yeah. to you're trying to nurse the mind, nurse the, the soul. Right. It's incredible. A lot of good things happening at Not Forgotten as always. What's the like what's the thing you need right now? Yeah, so um, this year, so we opened this home in the beginning of 2020. Um, the beginning of 2022, we are opening another home in this location like this that we have to build this year. In the city. In the city. But once it's built, it doesn't stop there. That's when the real cost kicks in. You know, the home, we can build the home, but if we can't maintain the home, if we can't provide the house parents, the food, the clothing, and all the extracurriculars, then we can't really care for these kids well. So the next big thing we need is regular support to help open and maintain that, that third home. Um, if you're interested, the, I get to do the ask, so so Tyler doesn't, but like if you're interested in supporting Not Forgotten, if you'll go to the Patreon page, patreon.com slash not forgotten, like if, if you had thousands of people given a dollar a month, that would be big, it right? It's such a big difference. Okay, such cool. Difference. And so you can just, what's the goal? What's the vision? 2022, we'll build this this second home in Apportacar. And then 2024 will be the third home in Apportacar. Um, and around that same time, we will also need to start building our, our third stage of, of our program, which will actually be our post high school stage. And this, this is a little bit different because um, at that age, after 18, these kids are no longer in our legal custody. So from a, from a government perspective, they could technically do whatever they want after age 18. But obviously, caring for a child and a, and a young adult doesn't end there. You know, it, it goes beyond that. And so it's family. It's family. So we want to, be able to continue to provide them support. Uh, and so the next stage will be a 
a, a stage where they begin to develop some independence, um, but still have some oversight and guidance, and slowly learn how to be on their own as they're how learning. to manage money, how to develop those, a trade education, all those practical things. Whether they're going to trade school, whether they're going to university, or whether they're just going ahead and starting a job, that we want to be able to support them through that. And and the and the goal there is to slowly develop independence. So initially, they're going to be receiving a lot of support from us. Um, but financially as well as guidance, but as they get older, as they develop more of these skills, the goal is that they slowly become less dependent so that by the time they finish the university or their trade school that they can walk on their own um, and manage their, their finances, manage their household, um, start a family if they want to, whatever it is they want to do, that they have all those skills necessary to do that. To break the cycle. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so one other question. A few years ago, we did a video on Smarter Every Day. An anonymous donor donated a whole van. Right. I'm seeing a lot more kids on that video than will fit in that van. What are you doing for transportation right now? So right now, we are uh, in our new location, are using just small cars to take small trips. But this summer, once things start to loosen up from COVID, we need another van. And okay. So we're gonna be purchasing another van god willing uh this this july okay that's amazing this is your uh your not forgotten update on smarter every day this year um i don't know how project for awesome is working this year we're recording this ahead of schedule because you're yeah it worked out with our schedules but um, there may be a need to vote on the Project for Awesome video. I don't know. If there is, I'll leave that information in the video description. But Patreon is the big thing. Trying to pay these monthly expenses for the labor, for the house parents, and the food, and stuff like that. So, patreon.com slash notforgotten. And is there anything else you want to say, Tyler? Just thank you so much for all of your support. This is a big deal. So, it's awesome. Literally changing lives of kids. I've seen it with my own eyes. You've seen it on video every year. Uh, you could probably go compare videos from last year and you know you can see the kids grow up and that's fantastic. Cool. So yeah, that's it. Have a good one. Take it Bye. easy. Bye.